Hello guys, welcome back to Serial Player Channel and see that unicorn there looks pretty cool. So, what is going to be today's mission? Well, I have not decided it yet, but I see some of these people I started to spawn in here. I don't know why they were not spawning and that are some Zonarch. They are pretty strong, of course. These people drop nothing, just seeds. And yeah, I completed the house from upside the second floor and now it looks pretty cool uh, so and that sun god you see the boss bar of i don't know where the hell that guy is i see moon god and sun god health bars up there but i don't know where they are there are some people there so basically these journals are very strong i'm not trying to mess with them I am using the white fences to cover up the house and here are some other things I, I have moved in this house as you can see I am not organized yet and so let's see what we can make here I want to protect my base so that for that I need to get my turret turret it's like a cannon thing that will shoot everything every monster so that will protect me for that I need to get a base one let I am going to make a uh, gun turret to run that I need a base tier 2 to make that first I need a base tier 1 so let's see it's I think it's going to be my storage area right now it's nothing just a, and here is my upside area as you can see I am using some uh, mr. crayfishes mod uh, fences which looks pretty cool here looks awesome so that's something and here I made a lookout area I will put some cannons here I mean that turrets you know which will protect the whole area uh, from being attacked by mobs so until the uh, until that it's just a lookout area okay so we are back in our main floor here we have uh, uh, let's make a base uh, sensor first sensor tier 1 and then we are going to make the base tier 1 with the help of sensor and some cobblestone let's take these and here we have these cobblestones uh, wood sensor and my cobblestones so that it is now ready so good now I need to make a base tier 2 to power that uh, gun turret as the gun turret is very good so for that we need IO bus so how to get that first for that we need gold and I don't think I have any gold but I might let's have a search I'm not organized I really want to get organized soon so nothing here nothing here no let's take a booping stick might be useful uh, there is nothing here as well no I don't have gold I'm out of gold now okay guys I just thought to go to mine and when I saw a best, a best pickaxe I found this Vengeance pickaxe it has fortune 10 guys fortune 10 are you kidding me fortune 10 that means if I mine one diamond I will get 10 of him oh man so in today's episode we are going to make this pickaxe no matter what so that for that we need hardened blood let's see so as you guys know uh, we also need some diamond for that vengeance pickaxe so uh, I am going to get some diamonds I thought I should show some of the mining area so and yeah I removed that old house completely so from here is my pinhole mine as you can see I really like pinholes they are so awesome you can come up come go down very efficient and as my armor give me infinite amount of saturation I don't have any problems going up and coming back here. I took some basic supplies 
that I will be needing and here we are we are at Y11 right now so let's start digging from this line let's see what we will get hope we will get diamonds pretty soon what the hell man really really are you kidding me are diamonds not rare anymore I just started mining and got diamond well I'm too happy for that but really is that all well let's see if I can get some iron oops ender man it's a cave but I need uh, I need that ender pearl so I'm going to kill him so he might run away so I'm going to use one of my booping sticks of course I have to use them so let's make a bridge and you are done goodbye yep that's the good ender man got a ender pearl and what is there there is a bat uh, oh dark ore that's dark gems we also need that for our pickaxe oh more nice uh, I need at least an iron one to mine that so for now let's leave this area we will come back here first we need to get some iron so I can mine that diamond up let's see where can we get some iron yes you good time for you you go down as well I have that inventory tweaks mod on that switches between item when it breaks pretty smooth yeah can say that and here are my torches and other stuff mining 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 hoping to get some iron I usually get better stuff if I mine straight oh yeah diamond oh I mean iron yes well here i got my iron so now i'm going to smelt this and make up my basing base area so i can get those diamonds uh, i'm going to pause this video and will ready i will uh, start this video pretty soon wait a moment okay guys my armor uh, i mean my iron has melted and now I'm going to make a iron pickaxe so I can mine that uh, diamonds and go back and make that vengeance pickaxe so the problem is that let me surround this area first oh I'm lucky I got a lot of them let's see if there is any lava I don't want these to burn oh man I am in luck four of them okay good yes got five of them okay so our diamond requirement has been fulfilled so now we can head back home and see what else we have i think first i should mine that dark dark ore oops i, oh, I was scared really that's stressful i cannot burn <laughs> i have that fire resistance you see guys so I am impossible to burn. I can even swim in lava. Already told ya. So these dark gems are pretty useful and same rare as diamonds. They are way too rare. I found only 2 to 5 so far. While I am here let's mine these as well. Might come in handy for later. Mm, uh huh uh huh uh huh okay oh i got something else as well crushed dark gem nice and what's there seems nothing so i'ma leave that take you as well redstone might come in handy as well useful uh nothing there so yeah let's head back home okay i will resume okay guys i am at my home as you can see and that uh, blood has dried up here 
so now i'm going to use flint and steel and get those blood shards yes got that good now i need more of these blood shards oh, oh that pickaxe looks good as well auto smelting huh what does that mean okay so for that we need two shards that's done we have the diamonds done as well next we need dark sticks how to get that for dark sticks we need a undead plank so how the hell am i supposed to get that uh, for that i need to get undead log so it is it a tree some of some kind can i get it sapling oh here it is cannot get it sapling well let's see here you go while reading that undead uh, tree uh, book i found out that this is the way to get that tree Okay, I was just looking around and so saw that Shadow Games has just started an event again. So I thought it would be good to start the recording so that you can see as well. Most of these creatures burn to light, so it's night time right now. If I sleep, they all are going to burn. Okay, Shadow Games is over, so now I can sleep. Okay, I slept very nice all of those phantoms are going to burn now let's see what's going on out oh man that's something new monsters huh nice well i will resume later okay while reading this book i found out this is the tree which usually grows in desert and for that we need blood infuser to uh infuse a undead sapling i mean that dead bush with blood let's see okay while looking in this crafting guide i found out we need some cobblestones as well as a blood infusion core for that we need some of this hardened shard and a dark power gem so how the hell can i get that i think i need to get this blood extractor first and let me get some of those uh, shards first when this blood dries out all you have to do is mine that up well meet you guys in a few seconds see you later okay guys i was just searching the nether uh, desert and found out this what the hell this hole doing in this desert and it goes down a lot down see if i take out this area it is it just goes down so deep i am not prepared right now so i am not going to enter there but as you can see we might come in here later it's something useful i think so we will i am going to mark that with this okay it's our mark for later let's move on okay guys while searching the desert i found out one more of the structure like thingy which have a good amount of loot i thought i should share this with you this time so you can believe me so basically just i just enter in this there is our chest it has some cool loot this one is uh, not that good but last time you saw there were so many booping sticks and other stuff that's okay no bit not a big problem uh just leave that here so basically uh, where is another chest man okay only one chest okay that's weird oh there is another one of those structures uh, oh man why the hell there are so many of these water pumps like things really i am serious see another one oh there is a village let's check that out there is a, that lighting as well so there might be something very good that we don't have yet let's see okay we are at the village now and here is uh, let me take its coordinate um, uh, we will come here later anytime soon so i can get its coordinate from now here is another chest and this time it have a good thing iridium shard that's useful and 
here it's just done so let's head back home it's going to be night soon okay so i am back home guys and according to this book i need to throw my dark gem with at least uh, five blood source blocks so i can get the dark powered gem so i'm going to do this right here right now so i need five source block but i think i should put six of them for good measures you know so i'm going to put six of them oh, do not turn get hardened man i need you to be liquid okay so you guys are something else just throw that dark Ooh. nice let me take that back thank you very much and i got a dark powered gem nice so now i can make a dark powered core if it has that name i think that star looked like nether star you know so i just have to surround it mm, with that of uh, what do you say <coughs> uh, sorry i don't have to make that i guess i don't know uh, well we'll see okay guys i just read down those instruction again and found out that first of all i need to get that undead tree for that i need that blood infusion core and surround it with cobblestone so i can get that blood infuser which is a machine that infuses with blood anything so for now i'm going to place this room as a blood room so that here it goes it takes the blood from blood extractor to work i have a lot of it and okay that's done so i now i need to place a dead bush so i need to get dead bush now i am in desert that is not going to be a problem where are my shears my garden shears man oh there they are okay so i need one dead bush oh that's so close got that good okay let's infuse this with blood so we can get undead sapling okay so go fast almost done and here we go we got that undead sapling let's fill this up again and here we go let's plant this sapling and bone millify it so let me take some bone meals with me some bones are fine bone meals here we go so i cannot place them on sand okay here it goes oh nice an undead tree i don't have axe right now so i just going to cut that with my hand not a big problem here you go this tree looks really nice has a blood dropping off effect cool pretty cool uh cut let me take out these leaves as well they might drop something good oh these looks these leaves are really good i think i should share them uh I think I should share them. Yep. I can at least see those leaves later with this help. So yeah, I think yeah we, we have almost made that pickaxe. Here we go. We got our logs. No, no, I don't want to convert them to sticks. Where is my table? I really need to get organized guys. I am in trouble. Okay, where is my dark gem? There you go. It is a dark stick now. Good. So now I can make my pickaxe. The moment of truth. There you go. Nice. Guys, I we have finally made it we have made it yes we did let's see it's mining speed don't i have any ores 
I want to see its mining speed. Man, there must be. Uh, I don't need this acacia wood. I need a chest. Okay, there you go. Filling up some of these extras I don't need. Uh, unicorn horn, you go there as well. So, yeah. I was going to test it. It's speed. Mm. Okay, we can test it on this one. Okay, oh man, that's a vengeance spirit. So every time I use this one of these will summon up? No, not every time it well it has a good speed. Sharpness fortune 10 guys. I'm pretty happy for this pickaxe. That's it for this episode. We will have another goal, a new thing in the next one. Be sure to watch it, subscribe. Thank you. See you guys later. Goodbye. You are the best.